Okay, so from the PV trolling video, a bunch of you have been asking me to demonstrate how to use SoundPad with SteamVR. Um, keep in mind this is only compatible with um, PC VR headsets. Um, most headsets are compatible with PC VR. Like I'm using a standalone Quest 2 right now, and I'm connected to my PC for PC VR. So you should be able to do this if you have a VR headset and a good enough PC. Now, first what you want to do before you launch Steam VR, you do not want to have Steam VR running for this. You want to go and you want to open SoundPad. And uh, this tutorial is assuming you already have SoundPad and you know and you have SoundPad installed on Steam. So, in here, you are going to want to go to File, Preferences, and you're going to have your big You want to go to Devices, and you're going to want to check uh, the microphone that you use for PC VR microphone streaming. So I'm using virtual desktop, so I would uh, click microphone virtual desktop audio. If you're using Oculus Air Link or just normal Oculus Link, you would want to select the one that said Oculus Virtual Audio Device. Once you've selected the microphone you want, you're going to click on Restart Win Audio. When you click on this, it's just going to ask you, it's just going to go over, warning, restart Windows Audio Service. It'll proceed to stop all the playback. And it might not work every time. If it does not work straight away, you would just want to reboot your computer. So, if it says successful, this will change to good if it was restart required. So, and the only reason it would be restart required is if you change your microphone to the one you want, and then you would want to click on restart when audio. And if that did not, if restarting the Windows audio would not work, then you would just want to do a normal PC restart. Okay, that is set up. You want to keep SoundPad open. Uh, you can go ahead and apply, make sure to apply those um, settings, and then click OK, and back to your SoundPad. Now, this is just whatever you have um so as you can see if i hover over this one it'll play the sound so if i click on the play button it'll play the sound in my my headphones and to other people in the game the speaker's control will just play in your headphones or your speaker system and no one else in game will be able to hear it your microphone symbol will play it for just the people in the game you are in, and you will not be able to hear it. This button pauses the playback. This button stops playback. You can go to the next track or restart the track that you are on. So, now that you've got SoundPad up and running, and you know what you're doing, to then learn VR. Now... Just make sure that you do not close SoundPad and you want to open SoundPad and do all this before you're opening Steam VR. Now, you want to open your Steam VR menu and you want to go to settings. Now, you're going to, you're going to want to go to audio. And in the input device, you're going to want to set it to the same microphone as you did in the SoundPad settings. So for me, I set it to virtual desktop audio. So that's what I'm going to do right here. So now that I've done that, go ahead and head into Gorilla Tag or any game that you want to do this with that allows voice chat. And it should work. So if I go ahead and head into a private server, you will see that I can come over here and it detects my microphone that it is working in game. Um, and then, since it's working, you can go ahead and play your audio through the desktop feature in SteamVR or your Oculus menu or your virtual desktop. I recommend using the Steam one, but 
If that doesn't work, you can just do your virtual desktop or Oculus one. So in here, you can select the audio you want to play. I'm just going to play the PVV audio, and it should come up in the game. And as you can see, it detected my voice. It thought that the audio was the voice because it was loud enough, and Gorilla Tag detected it. So, um, there's also a system called uh, Open VR to Keyboard, or Open VR to Key. I don't know. I'll put it up on screen. And basically, you can look up a tutorial on how to do this, or I might make a tutorial after this video on how to use open vr to key but basically what open vr to key does is when you press a button on your controller it will press a button on your keyboard i will make a tutorial on the on how to do that in the future but for now with this tutorial you're just gonna have to do it right here in your steam menu i hope this helped all of you out and um, since a lot of you have been asking, I will link uh, the PVV audio in the description down down below. You can go ahead and download it from Google Drive. And yeah, I hope you guys have fun and have a nice job acting out there.